Average leaders raise the bar on themselves. Good leaders raise the bar for others. Great leaders inspire others to raise their own bar. Oren Woodward, a New York Times best-selling author, a speaker, and listed as a top leadership expert. Welcome to Cyber Talk, where we talk about the life and how it is to be a cyber backer working from home. Cyber Talk is powered by Cyber Backer, the leading provider of world class admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website, www.cyberbacker.ph, for more details. What's up, everyone? This is Jello with Cyber Talk, your host, of course, the one and only. So, going back, um, what we previously talked about was all about leadership. Yeah. So, what we did was we talked to one of the great leaders here in Cyber Talk. She's going to be sharing her experiences and tips, of course, on how to be an effective leader uh, when it comes to handling a team, um, just being a leader on your own or just being yourself of course she, she shares her tips everything that she learned and of course her experiences here in cyberbacker all right so good evening everyone who is listening to our podcast maybe good morning or good afternoon to a few people so again we are back with another podcast episode for this week now um for this episode as what we've talked about previously we're going to be ha- having talks about leadership and One of the first people that came to my mind, the perfect person for us to talk to when it comes to leadership, is our lovely president of um, Cyberbacker. Her name is Miss Sheila. Um, Hi, Miss Sheila. Hi, Jello. Good morning. Yes, there we go. Good morning. So, um, Miss Sheila, we're going to be talking about a bit about leadership. It'll just take a few minutes, okay? Awesome. All right. So, um, how's it going so far? How's your day going so far? Oh, it's, it's, it's doing great. So um, my first question is, what springs to your mind when you hear the word leadership? Oh, wow, that's a great question. Um, well, when I hear the word leadership, what comes to my mind is influence, um, because leadership is influence. It is about being able to get the team together, you know, build genuine relationships and true commitment to lead others to make sure that the team achieves our goals through positive influence. Also, teamwork goes hand in hand with leadership. It is about people. You take care of them and they will take care of you. You also have to realize and acknowledge that everyone matters in the company. No one succeeds alone. So each and every cyberbacker plays an important role in the company, which greatly contributes to our success. Yes, that's actually right. Um, just for example, like a machine, right? Um, maybe in a car, uh, if one part isn't working, the whole car won't work. That's basically that's right. how it works, the team, of course. So um, do you think all the leaders, do you think they all have leadership right away? For example, um, hey, Jello, you're going to be leader of this department. Do you think they would have leadership right away? You know, someone can actually lead, but not mm-hmm. everyone can automatically become an effective leader. And becoming or learning to be an effective leader is not easy. I, I believe that leading yourself is actually the first per, or the first step in becoming the leader you want to be for others. You know, making yourself into a great leader actually takes time, a lot of work, and a ton of self-discipline, um, consistency, commitment, and adding value to the people around you. And, of course, surrounding yourself with confident and great people and continuously develop yourself in a daily basis. Jello, it takes a lot of willingness to exert persistent effort for your growth so you can also develop others. Yeah, that's perfect. I think uh, one of the good points there, Mishi, is like surrounding yourself with, to, for you to become a very good leader, you should also surround yourself with um, leaders as well for everything to be successful, yeah? Yep, that's right. All right, perfect. So um, why do you think 
good leadership is important. Let's talk about that more. Um, a line that you mentioned early, effective leadership. Why is that mm-hmm. important? Um, okay, so an organization is only as great as its people. So too often, mm-hmm. leaders get to focus on the bottom line financial results, you know, the dollar, the mm-hmm. dollar figure, instead of growing their people and the company. Um, and if that happens, that means they lack the very heart of leadership, which can be a problem to any organization. On the other hand, if you have great leadership within the company, they will continuously seek incremental improvements day in and day out. Leaders continue to look for progress, um, potentiality, and how they can positively influence the others to become better, to also become a leader. They most of the time meet people where they are at so they can also climb them to the top alongside with them you know working together as a team um, and like i said leadership is all about people you take care of them and they will take great care of you actually right but um i'm um, a few let's say let um filipino um mm-hmm. things that you usually do that crab mentality right i think that's one thing that would destroy a good leader don't you think Michi? Um, that's actually right. If if you are considering your personal gain and if you will continually do that, that outweighs your desire to serve others. And again, it will fall to lacking the very heart of leadership, which is serving others mm-hmm. and become as influential as you can to help them succeed. I think that is very, very important. Um, think of being a leader as not by just being a boss or something, but by serving the people. Because if you serve them, they will give it right back. Yeah, that's right. So um, what is the most important thing a leader must remember about leadership aside from serving the people that are under their team or organization? Leadership is not a one time thing. You know, you have mm-hmm. to it has to be developed every day. And not just in a day. What establishes inspired leadership rarely comes from one-time thing, one-time breakthroughs. It actually stems from small incremental improvements, progress, day in and day out. We know for a fact that leadership mm-hmm. is complicated, right? It has, yes. <laughs> it, it requires um, respect, uh, experience, emotion, strength, people skills, discipline, vision, momentum, timing. And mm-hmm. the list goes on, right? But leaders yes. should always instill in their minds the their true purpose and the impact of their leadership to other people. This way, leaders will be more conscious in all the things that they do um, as they would always take in consideration all the possibilities their decisions and actions may bring. Yes, of course. Now, um... You, Miss She, you are the leader. You are a leader here in Cyberbacker. So what leadership quality do you value most while being a leader here in Cyberbacker? Um, what I value most is actually humility. It's one of the exceptional qualities that I value myself because being a leader entails, sometimes it entails power and command authority which sometimes are associated to being the only right person at all times but great leaders always acknowledge the fact that no one succeeds alone it's always a team humility when you have to ask questions when you need help and when you ask how you can be of service to them how you can help them succeed in their career in their growth how can we contribute to their success as a person and and with their career here in Cyberbacker. So it's not always you, you know. Um, mm-hmm. You have to consider the people around you. And again, every part of our company is very crucial. We have mm-hmm. to realize that when you empower the people that surrounds you, that works with you, you're also developing them to become a great leader. Yes, of course. That is very, very important. Now, just a follow-up question, Ms. Shi. Um, what is the most difficult part of being a leader here in Cyberbacker? That's a great question. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, I'm looking into uh, a set of questions that I'm 
that I wanted to answer for myself um, on how I can provide more value to other people, to other cyberbackers here. The first question that I'm actually researching is this, what do people need from me daily that they want or that they may not want to ask for? Mm-hmm. Because number one, here in Cyberbacker, we wanted to build relationship. And while you are building your relationship with our co-cyberbackers, we wanted to get to know them a little better. And most of the time, they're not uh, proactively telling you what they need unless you have that relationship. So when you ask the question, how are you? They would usually say, I'm good. And they would throw mm-hmm. the question back to you. How are you? And so, and, and that's a, I think that's a powerful question because both of you are, you know, showing some kindness, consideration of how are you feeling today? Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, that question is actually good. However, usually our cyberbackers doesn't let you know what they need. And you have to figure it out as a leader. How can you support them the best way possible to become a successful cyberbacker? And so this question, I'm still researching on how and mm-hmm. what, the, what do they need from me so I can support them. Um, there are a few people that would really, let's say, reach out. Um, Hey, Ms. Shi, um, I'm having a problem with this and that. But there would be some cyberbaggers that would just keep these problems to themselves. Is that what you're saying, Ms. Shi? That's right. And if we don't know what their problems are, their challenges, mm-hmm. their concerns, we may not be able to help them. And it's our job to always make sure that we are there for them, to assure them that you know they have our support, they have the cyberbaggers community. Yes, of course, because um, what we one of the things that we value here again in Cyberbacker is the relationship. That's right. As what you mentioned earlier, um, we won't be successful if just one or two or even just three or a few people would be successful. We would want everyone here in Cyberbacker to be successful. Wouldn't you agree, Mister? Right. No one left behind. No one gets of course left behind. Left behind. Right. Yes. So um, another question. Um, we're still talking about leadership. Can you give me one person or just a name of a leader that comes to your mind when we say leadership? Craig. It's Craig. Craig. Tell me more about that, Mishi. I consider him my leader because I've seen his heart. And this is not a secret, uh, mm-hmm. Jello. He shared it with us uh, multiple times. When we started Cyberbacker, or from from when we started Cyberbacker, he didn't get any from Cyberbacker. Cyberbacker has been very profitable, but what he did and he he's continued to to do is he's reinvesting it back to us. Mm-hmm. He's developing us, and I and I truly appreciate it because he was able to help a lot of people aside from uh, Cyberbacker being able to provide jobs Mm -hmm. for high caliber cyber backers, individuals like us um, and like you, Jello, specifically Mm -hmm. like you. He was also able to help those that are in need. We had uh, give back activities when he visits. Every time he visits Philippines country, um, we make sure that we go to some charities and give back, give back to people. And I admire, I truly admire that from him because I also wanted to give back. Mm-hmm. But because before, because I don't have the resources and the means, I thought I don't have enough. I wasn't able to give back. But with Craig's help, with Cyberbacker, he was able to develop that value in me, mm-hmm. that motivation to continuously give back to the community. Random acts of kindness. He, he does that, and, and I truly appreciate that from him. Um, actually, if I was going to be asked the same question, um, who's one of the leaders that comes to your mind, Jello? Um, Craig is actually one of the names right there on top. So um, just to share with everyone with you also, Ms. Shee, um, I'm, re- re- I'm very, very appreciative because um, he wanted to start the podcast. There was no one who would coming forward. So 
I just had an idea in my mind. So, hey, why don't I start it? Um, at first, I was really having a hard time because I was quite a shy person when it comes to talking to other people. But he talked to me. He asked me, hey, do you want to have a conversation? I, I, I don't know what it is with Craig. He just has that light that helps you light the fire inside of you that he really helps inspire people. I don't know how he does it. Um, his words, his gestures, how he inspires people. It's just um, amazing to me because um, I experienced it, experienced it firsthand. <laughs> so he is really, really a very a great good leader. leader. Yep, he is. Great leader. Mishi, that's actually my last question for the serious part of the interview. Okay. Now, um, so Mishi, I have one last question. Okay. This is something that I ask all of our um, our lovely candidates who are on the weekly episode of Cyber Talk. So, um, are you familiar with the word Donald Ducking, Mishi? Yes. Donald Ducking. So, um, Donald Ducking, for everyone who is who is listening, it's um, being formal up top, but just maybe wearing PJs down at the bottom, just shorts, things like that. So, I know this is a question that our cyber backers would love to uh, for you to answer, Miss Chi. So do you, Miss Chi? Do you do Donald Ducky? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So um, everyone who's listening, Miss Chi, our <laughs> president, also does Donald Ducking. And by the way, that's my last question for this interview, Ms. Chi. Thank you very much for your time. Um, before we go, though, mm-hmm. is there anyone that you would like to thank um, regarding your journey here in Cyberbacker? Any names that you'd like to mention? Yes. Um, but before I do that, I also would like mm-hmm. to thank you, Jello, for the opportunity um, for me to be here. So thank you so much. And you're doing a wonderful job, Jello. Thank you. Um, so the first few names that comes into my mind is one number one is Craig. Of course, always mm-hmm. I'm very, very thankful to Craig, our CEO. Um, and then TJ, our wonderful vice president mm-hmm. for growth. Um, Cause you work closely with TJ, you know yes. how mm-hmm. uh, optimistic TJ is. So, and I, I love his positive attitude and it brings so much fun during the team meeting. So I, yes. I, I want to thank TJ as well. Um, Gab, our wonderful mm-hmm. Gabrielle, the director of our growth team. Um, and then Jen, the wonderful cyber backer of mm-hmm. Craig, who also worked with me before. And so I got to know her uh, a little more personal. So I want to thank Jen, who's very, very hardworking as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Am our wonderful director of our career team. Who he just recently started as the director of the career team, and he's doing really, really well. Ski and the headbackers division, who's also helping the team, the headbackers mm-hmm. team, make sure that they all work together as one, as a, as a division. Who else? There's a lot, Jello. Uh-huh. Uh, Angel, our money backers. <laughs> who's he- uh, Angel, who's leading our money backers team. Giselle, who initially worked with me when she started. It was just the two of us processing peril and everything mm-hmm. um, in our money backers division. But now that division has grown, there's a lot, Jello. <laughs> there's a lot that I <laughs> should be thankful for because they've helped us grow the company. When I started here, Jello, um, in Cyberbacker back in November of 2017, um, I was just the mm-hmm. third Cyberbacker. But just after what, almost three years? Yes, almost yes, three years. We've grown the company from three when I started. Now we're already at 812 Cyberbackers. I'm very, very proud of that. I'm very thankful to all the wonderful cyberbackers who's working hard each and every day, providing excellent service to all our clients. And they're actually the reason why we've grown the company really big and really yes. fast in just a matter of three years. So thank you, everyone. Thank you to all cyberbackers. And of course, to our family members who are supporting us all throughout our journey here. You know, we have cyberbackers who are moms, have kids. And during the day, you know, they're doing their mom duties just like me. Um, and then at night, they they work as a cyber backer. So they're really, really working hard. And we are able to do this because of the support of our family members, the support of our husbands, our partners, and our parents. 
we also have wonderful fathers here in Cyberbacker, wonderful siblings, wonderful parents. All of us are working really, really hard for our family. And, and I'm thankful, I'm very, very thankful and very humble to work with these in amazing cyberbackers, high caliber uh, cyberbackers. So thank you, everyone. That's perfect. So uh, also, I know in behalf of everyone here in Cyberback, we would also want to thank you, Ms. She. We are very grateful that you are the leader, one of the leaders here in Cyberback, together with Craig, of course, with Gab, TJ, M, um, everyone from the um, Headbackers team, also Skia. We are very, very thankful for everyone who is working hand in hand, of course, for everyone's right. success. So, appreciate you, Jello. Mm-hmm. I appreciate yes, you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate you too, Ms. She. So that's all the time that we have for this week. Don't worry. Next week, we'll be talking to more leaders that we have here in Cyberbacker. So please stay tuned and you have a great day. Thank you to all the listeners of Cyber Talk. If you enjoyed our podcast, don't forget to watch out for our upcoming episodes. We're going to dish them out weekly. Do visit our official website, www.cyberbacker.ph. And don't forget to like Cyberbacker on Facebook and Instagram. Once again, this is your host, the one, the only. My name is Jello. Always remember, make life bigger with Cyberbacker. Till next time. <laughs>